Hello, I'm Hansi Parchment. You're watching Talawa TV with Crystal Davis. Before I forget my manners, I haven't seen you since the World Cup qualification, so congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh buzzing to be back here well for the girls to be back in the World Cup and for me to go to my first one so yeah that no, was a really big achievement for all of us. Has it all sunk in yet? Yeah I think now it has and I think we're just prepping really to have as many camps as we can make sure that obviously we just came back from Korea playing against different opponents around the world and just making sure that you know we're training all together and just um, working on stuff going into the World Cup next year. As you said, it's your first ever World Cup qualification. How did the family react? Yeah, no, the family was over the moon for me. Obviously, um, there was a big time difference when we was in Mexico. So they was all they stayed up and they made sure that they chat to me after. And yeah, they, they're so happy for me. And, you know, there's a few tears and stuff. So no, I'm just happy to make them proud. I'm glad you touched on the time difference. Um, how much do you appreciate the love of support from the fans across the diaspora? Because so many of us are staying up until the crack of dawn just to see the rest of the girls compete. Yeah, no, we appreciate all the support that we can get. And I know how difficult is it, it is with the time difference because my family have to do it when I play away and stuff like that. So, yeah, we really appreciate it. I want to backtrack. We're going to talk about today. I'm not going to dwell too much on the on the results, more about the occasion. Let's, let's talk about last week. Not that goal. We're going to talk about your debut goal. Uh, what was that moment like for you? Yeah, it was important for me to get my, um, my tally off for Spurs in a, a positive manner. And I'm just happy that I've started off with a bang. And, you know, today is just one of those days when it's the little things really that count in these big games. And we have to really regroup and make sure that we tighten up on those in those aspects you know there's a lot of new players in the team and just making sure that we're all on the same page but I'm sure we'll be back and just it's a great occasion for women's football we know how big it was going to be after the Euros with so much more support and just to get that crowd today is just another step in the right direction. Before we talk about the crowd support it's going to take some games before yourself and Naz can get clicking but what can the Spurs supporters expect from you in the middle of the park? You know, I think I've got a lot of experience. Um, I know how to win and I know how to win trophies. I know what it's to be like in a win winning mentality team and just giving as much experience as I can really to the girls around me. And, you know, I've just got to make sure that I'm on top of my game and I help the younger players around me, especially like players like Jess. And, you know, we've got a few youngsters in the back as well. So, yeah, for me, I just got to make sure that I'm being a leader um, and they can rely on me. Absolutely. Now the record-breaking attendance. You've got an illustrious career. So where does this iconic moment rank in your career? Yeah, no, I think it's up there for it because you don't really get this attendance really in league games. I know sometimes it can be a cup final when there's a big crowd and stuff like that. But to get this in the league game just shows the progression that the sport's made. And I think everyone that's involved in women's football at the moment is just so proud of how, how far it's come and it's just about now pushing on to make sure that we can get these near enough these crowds regularly. Before you go, next month, all important World Cup draw, who's your dream matchup? A dream matchup? I mean I think for me it's just a, a dream to be there. You know, um, I know a lot of the girls from the last World Cup, I think the aim is to progress further than we, than they did and and I think having the experience now that's coming to the team, that's everyone's aim to go as further, further, far in the competition as you can. You know, we played big teams already, America, Canada, played Korea the other day. And I mean, to have a dream match, we could say maybe Morocco. So I play against one of my teammates, but then I guess, you know, there's a bit of banner with that because we, we know that we can beat them, but they think they can beat us. So. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> I mean, it's just, just to play anyone, just to be in that occasion, I think, for me personally, it's just going to be a dream come true. What about England? Because that's what the fans want. The fans want the, the, the girls in the black, gold and green, the reggae girls up against the lionesses. Yeah, why not? I mean, they're European champions. It'll be a great test, and, but it'll be a great occasion um, for both teams, really. And I think, you know, you see even, like, how much Jamaican culture is such a big thing in today. You see the Arsenal... Arsenal match pre-match jersey is inspired by Jamaican Jamaican culture so yeah I think that would be a really good uh, to have them in your group would be amazing so whoever really I just I'm just so happy to be there <laughs> marvelous thank you big drew thank you very much cheers